heard you then. I'll point posters up near where you was attacked, see if we can find any witnesses. Fat lot of good that'll do. Not that I'm not grateful, mind. You hear about stuff like this all the time. Miscarriages of justice and that. There's a lot of great people throughout history who've gone to prison for what they believe in. Is that meant to make me feel better? I'm just saying. Look at Nelson Mandela. What? All them years he spent inside. Now look at him. He had people on his side, though, speaking up for him. Sting isn't going to play Wembley Stadium on my behalf, is he? No, what people around here might. Organise a concert? No, speak up for you in court. Say what a good man you are, how you wouldn't hurt a fly. Nah. They'd sooner just bury their heads in the sand. Well, you've got to do something, Lazar, or else you won't stand a chance. Maybe you're right. Maybe people are more compassionate than I'm giving them credit for. Of course they are. Even those who think they know what it's all about. If I was to explain to them what really happened, how I'm being stitched up, they might be on my side. They're bound to. I need all the support I can muster. Neighbours, lads at work, people with clout like, uh, like Mike Baldwin. Mike Baldwin, good idea. Rita Sullivan, Steve MacDonald, Emily Bishop. Imagine if they were all in court, all speaking with one voice, all demanding justice and truth. You're sounding more like Nelson Mandela every minute. Yes. You know, see if we can't bang out some better terms. After all, we're taking a lot of business their way, aren't we? All right. I'll lead you to it. Excuse, excuse me, Mr. Baldwin. Can I have a word? Uh, about what? I I've come to ask if you could help put right a terrible, terrible wrong. This got something to do with you being up in court, is it? Yes, I am up in court, but they're trumped up charges. I wouldn't know anything about that. It's true, Mr. Baldwin. Les is a victim of police brutality. What, he just stood there, did he, while the blows rained down on him? Who do you think you are? Mahatma Gandhi? No, Nelson Mandela. What? I was a victim of a vicious and unprovoked attack. Yeah, well, even if you were, I don't see what it's got to do with me. Well, I was hoping you'd be a character witness for me. Me? Well, you are an upstanding member of the community. Am I? A successful local businessman. People look up to you. Steady on, you don't want to wait on too thick. Uh, yeah, well, I'm sorry, but I mean, I can't help you. I know nothing about the case. Y you don't have to. All you've got to say is you know me, and in your opinion, I'm a decent law-abiding citizen. Oh, then I'd be up in the dock for perjury. Why? Because you're not a decent law-abiding citizen. Look, no offence, Les, but you're a yob. But, yeah, but you can still stick up for me. I'll tell you what to say. Sorry, I want nothing to do with it. Oh, but Mr. Baldwin... Now, come on. Uh, out. Come on, I've got work to do. Cool, come on, up it. Well, don't look at me. I'm an ex-con. Oh, I don't believe it. I, I just don't believe it. You see what I'm up against, eh? Eh? Guilty till proved innocent. That's me. I might guess Baldwin wouldn't do that for his fellow man. I mean, look at the way he treats Fizz and the girls. Well, he's a boss, isn't he? They're all the same. And he's a cockney. You don't even belong round here. The judge would probably take one look at him and think, aye, aye, I can't believe a word he says. We need decent, ordinary people on our side, not that flash, Harry. What about Rita in the cabin? She's got on his face. What do you think she'll speak up for you? The amount I spend on fags. Of course she will. After you, Audrey. Yes, thank you. Uh, I just want that three. Two. Oh, thank you, Audrey. It's just right. Okay, well. Yes, Les. Uh, a box of matches, please. Twenty p, please. Do you know? I was coming here every day for one thing or another. I was saying to Kirk, wasn't I? He was, yeah. If it's not fags, it's a paper, a bar of chocolate. I reckon I'm one of your best customers. Are you after tick? Oh, no, 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 no. no, no. Uh, I don't believe in getting into debt, me. No? No, I'm old-fashioned like that. Live within your means, that's my motto. Well, I'm very pleased to hear it. It's the way I was brought up, see. Honest, hard-working people, my mother and father. Brought me up to be the same. Well, you learn something new about people every day, don't you? That's right, Rita, you do. And, however much you think you know people, there's always hidden depths. Les, why are we having this conversation? Oh. I want you to be a character witness for me in court. Oh. Well, I'm not just a customer. I'm a neighbour and a friend. I'm sorry, Les, I don't think so. Oh, go on. A few kind words from a wise old bird like you, it might swing it for me. Look, I'd say the same thing to Mick Hotwood if he asked me. I don't want to get involved. It should be him that's up in court, not me. Well, I don't know anything about that. It's obvious who you believe. Look, my opinion doesn't come into it. I'm not on the jury. Well, we all know what you'd do if you were. I would weigh up the evidence and make up my own mind and I wouldn't let anyone influence me. OK? <laughs> 
Come on. I'm, I'm sorry, Les, but the answer is still no. Now, if you don't Please, mind... Emily, look into your heart. You're, you're a Christian. You can't stand by and watch while an innocent man... Goodbye. Oh, please. <sighs> Hope she croaked a senile old bat. Come on, let's try next door. There's no point. Yes, there is. We live there, you twonk. Oh, yeah. Well, next door to us, then. The what? I can't see them sticking up for me. Can you? Jack and Vera. They won't want to know. Nobody will. Stop talking like that, Les. You've got to stay strong. Come on, let's go and ask Steve MacDonald. Les, I'd love to be a character witness for you. I knew you wouldn't let me down. I knew it. Hey, <laughs> what did I say to you, Kirk? He said you were laying down. Snag is, I'm no good to you. Yes, you are. You're my boss. We go back years. Well, I've got a criminal record, haven't I? Have you? What for? Receiving stolen goods. Just receiving them? That's not a real crime, then, is it? Look, you're better off asking Reed, sir. Or Baldwin. No good. Well, you're better off asking Ronnie Biggs rather than me. Oh. Cheers. Fred, you're a man of principle. I'll Let me stop you there, Leslie. Rita's told us about your little request. As, as much as I appreciate the plight you're in, my position is the same as hers. <sighs> They're an hard face lot round here. They're just cowards, scared to stand up and be counted. You know, I'm beginning to think people around here don't like me. Don't be daft, of course they do. I mean it, Kirk. I'm an outcast on this street. The trouble is, people don't get to see the real Les. They see you in here brawling or puking up in the ginnel. They think that they know you. But if they bothered to scratch the surface, they'd see that there was more to me. You're a very caring man, Les. You're the least violent person I know. Thank you, Kirky. You're someone appreciates me. If only we could get everybody else to see what you really like, maybe then they'd be willing to speak up for you. They can't see past their own noses. But what if something happened? Something that made them see you in a new light? Like what? Hold on. Let me think about this. I've got it. Why don't we organise a fight? It's fighting that got me in this mess, you pillock. Not a real fight, a pretend fight. Me and you? Pretend fighting? What good's that going to do? Not me and you. That'd be too obvious. You and somebody else, a stranger. And what will I achieve? Let me finish, Les. This stranger, he comes in here, starts pushing you about, provoking you. Oh, yeah? Let him try. Oh, well, that's the point. He can try all he likes, you just let him. No matter what he says, and no matter what he does, you walk away. And what will that achieve? It'll prove, in front of witnesses, that you're not a man of violence. And that's your master plan, is it? Well, have you got a better idea? No. It doesn't stop your idea of being stupid, does it? I mean, where are we going to find a stranger? To come in here and start having a go at me like that, eh? Don't you worry about that, Les. I know just the man. <laughs>